This review has been brought to you in part by revisionmilitary.com. Hey, welcome back, Oddie's Airsoft, and we've another review. And we, you know, look, we've been trying to find the ultimate pair of eyewear for Airsoft. Mesh glasses don't cut it because there's always that risk, that 1% chance of something breaking through and damaging your eye. Polycarbonate lenses are really the only option. Now we've looked at, looked at the exo shields from Revision. We've looked at their Locus range, which were the fan goggles. And I have to say, I got on great with them, but I know not everybody does. The exo shields were not designed for Airsoft. In fact, none of their range have been designed for air, Airsoft. They're designed for very, very uh, specific jobs within the military. And we airsofters are looking, because we are military based in our gaming, we tend to look towards the military stuff and see what we can poach for our own use in game. So the exo shields I've already done, I thought they were fantastic, but not everybody was getting on with them. We also looked at the fan goggles, the locust range, and I have to say they were superb. And I would sort of hazard a guess that very few people would struggle with them. And what we're looking at today are the bullet ant glasses from Revision. Now these are designed for that dry, uh, deserty kind of environment. They have really, really big lenses on them. And the lenses can be swapped out and changed. These are the sort of dark version or the... Uh, you know, so they're like the, you know, cut out the sunlight, so you're a bit like a sunglass. So if you're in really, really bright conditions, you'll put these lenses in, and they also come in a clear lens. And the clear lens is designed, you know, especially if you're going into darker forestry or anything like that, the clear lens is gonna really win. Now, I've used these for about three, three and a half hours in game, straight out the box with no fog tech, no revision, um, revision's own brand of anti-fog liquid, and I have to say, and I'm afraid to say this because I know there'll be a whole heap of people coming on and commenting saying that, oh yeah, I have them and they, I can't see out them, they fog up too much. I had zero fogging. Now I mean not even moisture building up on the lens. Now when I use the exoshields um, straight out of the box, I did find after a period of, of gaming that moisture did build up on the lens, but it didn't. Uh, it didn't sort of stop my vision in any sh or you know sort of annoy me in any shape or form. My vision was perfect. I could still see, and when I got back to the safe zone, I could give them a wipe down and off I went again. No real major issues. On this particular set of glasses, I will tell you straight away, I got zero. I mean, not a bit, nada, not a thing. No fogging whatsoever, no moisture build up whatsoever. And I have to say, I found them absolutely fantastic. Great thing about them is the peripheral vision on them is, is superb. They, they call them bullet ants, but they, you know, they really are huge on your eyes. And you can get real sort of, a lot of clarity and a lot of uh, sort of the peripheries of what's going on into your eyes. And uh, you, know, you don't get any of the frame blocking or sort of restricting vision. Ultra comfortable, superbly made, and they have little foam inserts going all the way around at the bottom and at the top. And they have these little sort of airflow ducts here on the top, and they also have them on the bottom. Now I have read online that if you want maximum airflow, which is what you're really looking for, you can take out the foam, just pull it out and get rid of it. The foam is there for a reason. The foam is there for if you are, say, in desert-like conditions, it stops the dust blowing in into the eyepiece. Where we're gaming, we don't have that issue, we don't have that problem, so we don't really need to worry about it that much. So you could take out the foam and it'd give you even more airflow. Now what I will say is, if you were sort of setting up an ambush and waiting for people to come into you and it's warm, which it was the other day, these will start to mist slightly. But once you start moving at all, if there's any breeze at all, whatever way the airflow goes, it instantly clears them. So, as I said, I didn't get any fogging. I gave them to a buddy of mine for the afternoon session, uh, Finton, a good friend of mine, and he said, yeah, look, I'm gonna take my mesh out with me because 
polycarbonates I, I just can't wear i cannot wear them they fog instantly the minute i even put them on i just can't see out within two seconds of them being on he wore them for about 10 minutes uh into the game uh when all the briefing was done and he just turned to me and says i can't believe these haven't fogged yet you know this i've never had this before with polycarbonates he played most of the game wearing them and his his review on them was fantastic. He thought they were brilliant and in fact he's going to go off and buy a set. So if you're looking for a pair of goggles that give you absolutely 100% uh, coverage of your eyes and these fit dead tight all the way around, a real good neat seal and it's that soft rubbery plastic that will not hurt you i found them exceptionally light exceptionally comfortable uh, for the hours that i was playing with them and they also come in uh, black as well as tan and do you know what i would love it if Re revision made them in a green color or an od sort of color but look as i said they're designed for the military they're not for air softers but if you care about your eyesight and you want the very best and you, you don't want to sort of buy yourself any of these cheap clones from you know the, the chinese stores check out revisionmilitary.com i've been impressed by their whole range i think the optics on them are superb i know about the ballistic capabilities of all of these glasses i know that when i put these on my eyes are 100 percent safe i can't say that about every glasses i've put on in the past but i can with a revision range now I'm going to put in a bit of a caveat at the end of this film. What I will say is, you know, this is my experience with them. We all sweat differently. We all wear different loadouts, which will sort of increase sweat or, or the way sweat flows off your body. So if you're into wearing boonies and hats and stuff like that, bandanas, uh, you might find that these may well indeed fog. I wore a baseball cap and a lower face mask with these glasses. I got no fog in at all. My experiences with these are limited so again i will come back with a long-term view of these but if it was a toss-up between my favorite which are the exo shields and these it has to be these now purely because with the exo shields i did get moisture on the lens with these i got nothing and the conditions i played in it was probably 18 to 20 degrees i was running around and sweating a lot i you know was sweating a hell of a lot and uh, i didn't get any blurring of vision they were superb. So, as I said, if you're in the mood for some really, really decent eyewear, um, check them out. If you've had any experience with a good, bad, or indifferent, pop your comments down below, and we'll sift through and see what we uh, get to hear about them. But I have to say, I'm ultra impressed by these, and I'll be wearing them as my go-to goggles now. Uh, and as I said, they do come in black if you are not really mad about the tan, sandy sort of colour. But for multicam wearers like myself, they fit in a treat so as i said that's the bullet ants they come in a nice protective casing come with a nice cloth they uh, also have um, the lenses that pop out and fit in and they're the clear lenses so it's well worth the money in my opinion and with all due respect i don't think you can put a price on your eyesight you know if your eyes go down in any shape or form, there's very little that can be done to correct any permanent damage that's, that's sustained in airsoft. So, you know, wear, your, wear good eyewear, wear good face, lower face mask, and you should be good to go. Thanks again to Revision, superb company, and they're a absolute, you know, gentlemen to deal with. Um, so check them out, and we'll see you soon.